everybody, welcome to this HTL Digital Exclusive. I'm Tanner Thomason, and I'm here with social media star Hannah Hart. Uh, you know her from her smash YouTube series, My Drunk Kitchen, but she's branching out to tell us all about her new book. It's a memoir titled Buffering, Unshared Tales of a Life Fully Loaded. Please welcome Hannah Hart. Yay! Yay! Woo! Woo! Uproarious applause! <laughs> You know, we, we, we pull out all the stops here. I could tell. Oh, that was so loud. My yeah, ears are the ringing. deafening thunder. <laughs> yeah. How would you describe who you are and what you do? There are many terms used to describe, um, like, kind of this era of new media star, digital influencer, like, online personality, et cetera. Um, but I prefer the term human that mm. does things. There's uh, that. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's like technically I'm an author, I'm an actor, I'm a producer, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person, though, at the end of the day. Uh, my Drunk Kitchen is just something that I describe my Friday nights with. There you um, go. <laughs> but for you, this is a show. When did you, when, when was the light bulb where you go, okay, I'm gonna film this and put this out there? Oh, well, it was just a joke for a friend, and I talk about it in Buffering. Um, it's actually chapter three. Uh, and basically, you know, I just moved to New York um, to get, I just mo moved to New York to work part-time as a proofreader at a translation firm. Mm -hmm. And my best friend back in San Francisco, my roommate, you know, she is, uh, suffers from like chronic depression. She was like, I really miss you, man. And I was like, dude, I miss you too. We were talking on like G-chat, um, mm -hmm. using a webcam. And I just made her a joke to cheer her up because we would just get drunk and cook together all yeah. the time. And I sent it her way and, um, you know, five years of, uh, hard work every day later, here we are, yeah. viral. Yeah, I don't feel like a lot of people understand that part of it. Yeah, it's a lot less sexy, you know? And that's yeah. something else I really try and like, really try and talk about is that, um, I think we like this fantasy that uh, there is such a thing as an overnight sensation because it gives us an excuse to be lazy right. and not go after our dreams. Yeah. It's like, oh, well I tried once and it didn't happen and it only works for overnight sensations. Right. So if that didn't happen to me, I should just stop trying. Yeah. Um, which is not the case at all. It's not, you know, there is something to be said for striking while the iron's hot, but I've always been of the volition that you should make the iron hot by continuously striking.